philosophies have crept into Christianity up recently? I think philosophy have, uh, has always been in it, Jay. Yeah, yeah. I think the worst, the worst was Augustine, to be honest. Yeah. This is um, some of the best books I've read is by a guy called Stephen Maltz. Yeah. It's called How the Church Lost Its Way. Yeah. Uh, and there's another one. Um, there's, a, there's three books basically, and he talks about how Christianity was removed from its Jewish contexts. Yeah. And took over by Greek Greek philosophy. Yeah. Which crept in and stuff like that. So I, I think it's, I think it's, um, I think it's dominated Christian theology ever since. Yeah. He actually talks about this, Stephen Maltz, he talks about, Alist he has a guy, Alistair McGrath, and he says, in the whole, in the, the book, Christian Theology, that big textbook. Yeah, yeah. He says, there's, there's nothing of, there's nothing Jewish in it, it's all, every, every major theologian, listed and philosopher, yeah. basically says they've all been shaped by Greek philosophy, mm. rather than that, the uh, Hebraic Judaism. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which is an interesting read. It's definitely an eye opener. Who's that? It's called Steve Maltz. If I recommend ten books. Yeah. So if I recommend five books for every Christian to read. Yeah. Evangelical Christian, that would be one of them. Yeah. Without without a doubt. Yeah. It's interesting. Uh, Chuck Baldwin, any desire for promotion, pleasure, riches, or fame will quickly make one a servant of the beast. And I'm afraid that is exactly what many of today's pastors and preachers have become. Yeah. What do you reckon on that? I think it's right. I think what, he, what he's, the book of Revelation, I think, and the epistles, they seem to be communicating that in the last days, there's only going to be a, a, a remnant of faithful believers, and I, th I think um, I, I, I definitely agree with that. Like, yeah. He says this, Chuck Baldwin. They're going to get lost in secularism. That's what's happening. Mm. Chuck Baldwin says, a good many religious leaders and churchmen today would not take a back seat to the most greedy, corrupt politician or shady businessman that could be found. Yeah. yeah. T. McHannon. Only a love for the truth and a willingness to do what the Word of God says will preserve us from apostasy that Scripture tells us will, will overtake the world. He says, many evangelical churches have become a major referral source for secular psychotherapists. Shepherds, more often than not, are committing their sheep to such God-denying hirelings for resolving life issues. And John MacArthur says, not one, no one sets out to become an apostate. It's never the result of one corrupt, drastic turn away from the Lord. Instead, apostasy is most often the product of a 